right, this is the uh, manual operation for the uh, IR3 04 speed A4 A4 fly Flory PB board. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about is the dip switches. There's four of them right at the top of the uh, of the board. Let me pull it up here. Let's see if you can see that. Maybe you can't with the glare. Dip switch one is all the way up, and dip switch four is all the way down. Those are the two that are the most crucial for you if you're gonna ever mess with it. Uh, dip switch one is your anti-mechanical bounce, or sorry, that's a uh, late night. It's your anti-bolt stick. Uh, you don't need it per se, but it doesn't hurt to have it on, so I leave it on default. You can switch, flip it down to off to turn it off if you don't want it. Dip switch four is your tournament lock. When it's on, you don't have tournament lock enabled. When you flip it off, tournament lock is enabled. That turns your marker into a reading battery for you instead. So in order to program these boards, first you switch them on. Then if you want to go into programming mode, dip switch four has to be up and on. Hold the trigger down. Hold the power button down. Release power button. Let the light cycle. And now you're in programming mode. We'll go through the colors in a minute. If you flip dip switch four down and you hold the hold your trigger and do the power, what it does is it tells you your battery level. So those four blinking green lights is saying this battery is fully charged. Four is fully charged. Three is you know three quarters full. If you have two, you should probably replace the battery. Start you're gonna start getting into problems, and that just goes into to regular functioning mode. I'm going to put split dish switch 4 back up. And I'll run through everything. The colors have changed slightly from the uh, LCD manual, unfortunately. Uh, when you turn the marker on, it's going to be red, and then it's going to go to blue. Uh, solid blue means there's either uh, a ball in the breach, or you don't have eyes installed. If you don't have eyes installed, or if your eyes are malfunctioning, if you hit the trigger, it's going to start blinking blue. That means either you don't have eyes installed, and it doesn't affect anything, Unless you mess with some dip switches, which I'll explain. Or you have an eye malfunction, you don't have eyes when you're supposed to. The second button here turns the eyes off. That's flashing green. That means the eyes are set to off. Uh, flashing blue or flashing green will do the same thing the way it comes out of the box. So if you have an IR3, an 04 speed, an A4, a marker that doesn't have eyes, you never put eyes in it. It will function the same way. You don't have to press another button to, to get to an eye off firing mode. And if you want to change that for whatever reason, if you really want eyes on, dip switch three, you flip it down, and that will cap your rate of fire. Uh, that, that's going to reduce your rate of fire with eyes off or a malfunction versus eyes on. But it's really not worth it, especially with 10 balls per second uh, play now. Uh, dip switch two, we'll go over the dip switches. I did them kind of backwards. Sorry about that. But dip switch two is your anti mechanical bounce. Really, that means if you're pulling the trigger really slowly, it just adds some some bounce to that. It also adds a, a board setting. So that's also on. I just leave it on. Uh, I wouldn't really mess with it unless you really want to for whatever reason. But dip switch one is anti-bolt stick. Dip switch two is anti-mechanical bounce. Three is your rate of fire cap for uh, eyes off or eyes on. Again, leave that off. Uh, just, just let it be where it is. And four is your torment lock. That's the one you might end up using if you play like an Iron Man or something like that, and you need to tournament lock it, you can use that. Uh, we went over the generic lights that you're going to see when it's working. Uh, there's no eyes on this marker, but when there is a eyes seeing each other and there's no ball in the breach, this will be a green light. So it's going to cycle from blue to green as it's, uh, as it's shooting with eyes if you have an a4 fly or a flied marker or something with a dm3 eye set in it so let's go back into programming let it blink your first setting is green that's your debounce now the default debounce set at five milliseconds it's one millisecond increments if you want to change it you can hold the trigger once it goes out you click the trigger the amount of times you want to go and then it's going to do that that's coded. If you want to see, because I, I don't like, uh, I think to Dow boards, you have to, it, it counts the cycles for you to show you what the, 
what the setting is before you can change it. And I just, I think it's a waste of, it just wastes time kind of when you want to change certain things. So if you want to see what, what it is right now, you don't just want to change it, just continuously hold this and it'll blink. And I had it set for six and now I want to put it back to five. So yeah, if you want to just go, you let go of the trigger and, and go when the light's off like this. But if you want to see what the setting is, just hold the trigger and it will blink for you. And now you have to set it. All right, next one is going to be red. And this is your dwell. Uh, it's set at 14 for IR3s. If you have an A4, you can probably switch it down to like 12, maybe 11. I normally don't mind a little overdwell on my markers. It just makes sure that I'm not going to starve my RAM or starve my poppet because I'm not hitting the RAM hard enough. So I don't mind overdoing it a little bit. I mean, air is free. Less air is not, and you're really trying to control your air by your dwell. But that's different, more advanced tuning. I don't particularly love that for consistency and just... Uh, being a solid all-around shooter but instead of 14 you can change it just like every other setting purple is your anti is your rate of fire this is what i was going for this is set to 10 uh any firing mode it will default to whatever you set for your rate of fire right now it's set to 10 it's one ball a second increments teal this is your anti-mechanical bounce this is set at 10 uh milliseconds you we don't have old school MPPL where everything was semi. It just keeps the gun from bouncing if you're just touching the trigger real slow. I would just leave it on. It doesn't really matter. If you want to mess with it, you can. You know, it's one millisecond increments. Yellow, this is your ball in breach delay. So if you have eyes, this is the delay from when the eyes are broken to when it lets the marker fire. This is half millisecond increments. It's set to one millisecond. It's an angel. Uh, you know, it's it goes, it's going to fire quick. But you can slow it down if you have a slower hopper or something like that. You could slow that down if you have eyes and like a Revy. And, you know, it's bouncing a little bit or something like that. The paint's, you know, small. Because paint's small now. If it's rolling around and you want it to settle a little more, you can up that setting to, uh, to help yourself. The final one's blue. Uh, this is set to NXL right now out of the, out of the box. But... There's four settings. Uh, one pull is semi. Two pulls is just full auto. For Normally for testing, I use that a lot. Three pulls is uh, your standard NXL. Ten balls, a, it's whatever balls a second you set globally, but it, it's that with the uh, the current NXL slash Millennium rulebook where you, know, you have to maintain four or five balls per second, whatever it is, and a certain amount of activation. And then the fourth one is just an old school parabolic ramp. The faster you shoot the trigger the more the additional ramping is going to be on it. And probably botched that video a little bit. I'm sorry about that. But uh, it is pretty late and I'm fairly tired. And uh, that would be all the settings. You can turn it off either at your top button or at your switch here. I like to click the switch on these and turn it off because this board will drain batteries over time. It is sensing for, uh, for the switch to be turned on if you don't have this turned off. So this is kind of like live, and this is kind of your on-off, like a, a traditional angel is set up. And it's just ready to fire. You know, seconds, good. So uh, that's it for the manual. Uh, that's it for the new board. You'll start seeing these, you know, out on eBay with uh, with the other boards I'm selling, which are going pretty well right now. And uh, this is Andrew Floyd PB. Uh, good night, guys.